like leave this commentary. Leave this commentary as part of it. What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny. You guys just saw the lookbook. Let's go ahead and break down the fits. First outfit is a clear cut spring outfit. I'm rocking the classic Vans Old Schools, one of the cheapest, most versatile sneakers out there. They look great, crispy clean or worn in. Since the overall silhouette is black, these can be rocked with pretty much anything. For the bottoms, I am wearing cargo joggers from Hyperdenim. The cuff is a bit long, but these do fit really well and of course, the cargos, man. So, uh, yeah, what am I gonna do? Refuse a Coke? Hell no, man. I'm also rocking a tank top underneath a light denim jacket. I think tank tops are essential for the spring and summer, and it looks awesome underneath flannels and jackets. But that's just my look. I definitely don't recommend it if you're scrawny scrawny, or if you're a little overweight, because it might look just a little bit too casual and end up looking like a wife beater on you. Now, with the tank top, you have to rock a necklace, in my opinion, because it shows way too much skin. You know, it can feel a little empty on your cleavage area. So I'm rocking a simple gold chain and some accessories from my collection and as you guys will see throughout the other outfits I'll be wearing the same accessories you don't really need that much accessories you can honestly rock the same ones over and over again second outfit is a very prideful outfit I gotta represent man the land of enchantment green chili red chili blue man tight 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 green chili red chili balloon fiestas breaking bad that's where I'm from now the shirt is something I copped from Amazon it is the Zia symbol which is a Native American reservation in New Mexico and I would honestly encourage all of y'all to show some pride with where you're from not many people know about New Mexico they think I'm Mexican and speak Spanish. But because of that, I get a lot of compliments on the shirt and it is a great conversation starter. Then the rest of the outfit is very simple. Light blue denim from Hyper Denim, cuffed. Vans checkered authentics, accessories, and a gorgeous view of Manhattan. Can't ask for anything better. Now the last outfit is definitely one of my favorites. This is something I like to wear when I'm going to Soho. Starting with the kicks, I gotta rock my most versatile and one of my favorite sneakers, the Yeezy Calabasas Power Phases. And I've always liked the look of these shoes when you wear them with long crew socks. Now with this, I tuck my camel pants from black Taylor into my Adidas crew socks. Not many people are on this look and I wasn't at first either, but it grew on me and think it can only work with the right combination of the sneaker itself, the pants, and the color of the socks. Moving on to the tops, I'm wearing the same denim jacket with a washed out purple smiley tee. Oh, yo, look at this sunset. Hold up. I'm gonna really mess up this angle. Yo, hold up. Look at this sunset, bro. Oh, y'all can't really. Oh, fuck. Y'all can't really see this because uh, the lights all fuck off. Oh, all right, fuck it. Whatever. I guess I got to reset up. Anyways, it gives me the Chinatown market vibes, which is probably why I like it. By the way, it's good vibes. I like this color blocking because one of the things that you can do to color block is wear items that are next to each other on the color wheel. Again, I will make this video soon. Anyways, that's it guys. Follow me on Instagram. It is Fly with Johnny Ty. Your boy needs followers, man. Drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite fit was. And until then, stay fly and I'm out. Peace. Hey bro, you gotta learn to not read this because there's gonna be a lot of endgame spoilers this week. I care about you, man.